Former Savannah homicide detective Kevin Grogan is willing to talk about things that most former law enforcement officers shy away from. Political corruption within a police department, race relations between officers and within the communities they police, and most importantly, why we are failing to enforce the essential laws in our nation that keeps us safe. Grogan has a unique perspective, and it is one that most officers probably agree with, but will not dare to put down on paper. He is able to draw from his experiences as an Army combat veteran, a patrol officer, a homicide detective, and a local officer assigned to a federal task force. I know this firsthand, having worked with Kevin during a long-term undercover operation that resulted in the removal of hundreds of crime guns and violent offenders from the streets. Because of the extremely high crime rate in Savannah, the Savannah Police Department is a perfect example of a department that has tried to do the right thing to combat violent crime at times, only to fail miserably by caving to political pressures and canceling these life-saving programs. Grogan lived through this and peels the layers back to expose the corruption and ineptitude of the higher-ups in his department, city officials, and the district attorney's office. Grogan's experiences with the police department's expanded patrol operation team, known on Savannah streets for their bright yellow shirts and rapid response to crime, illustrate how a city's crime rate can be dramatically decreased through a combination of aggressive tactics and taking the gloves off of the experienced officers who were handpicked to make this unit. Grogan showed us the incredible successes and impact that a unit like this can have on a city that is riddled with crime, and how that city can plummet back down into the dark right after the unit is dismantled for political reasons. Grogan's accounts of how he and his partners overlook lower level offenses to gain trust on the streets with the end game of taking down the major criminals are fascinating. He backs his theories and conclusions with his first-hand experiences on the streets of Savannah and with indisputable numbers and statistics regarding the rise in violent crime in Savannah since the abolition of these types of crime-fighting tactics. Lou Velozzi, ATS Special Agent, retired. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there's no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Theodore Roosevelt